Thanks for stopping by today to talk about uh, Tariel and the uh, level up process. Uh, at the end of the last episode, everybody went from uh, uh, sixth to seventh, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to get together with you and just kind of talk about some of the choices that you've got to make. All characters, when they level up, first they get they get some more hit points, so that's mm -hmm. always a good thing. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In this campaign, definitely. Um, but uh, you're also going to get a number of things based on your class, and Tariel is a is a bard. Mm -hmm. So at seventh level, uh, one of the first things you're going to get is expert spellcaster. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's going to uh, increase your spellcasting DCs and your attack modifiers uh, by two each. So uh, that's just kind of a just flat power upgrade that makes mm -hmm. your spellcasting just better across the board. Um, so nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but you're also going to get a skill increase. And, and what skill do you think you might want to increase? Performance seems obvious, but I feel like I've been doing a lot of deception. So I think I might want to... After after the events of the after the events of the Drow uh, Temple, having a bit more deception yeah. wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the, you've been called upon to kind of be the mouthpiece of the party more than once, so a little bit more deception mm -hmm. maybe maybe might be a good thing. Yeah, I think that I think that would help quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, that that seems like a, an easy choice. What do you think about uh, for a general feat? Because you get one of those at seventh level as well. Well, I was kind of like trying to weigh some options, mm -hmm. um, but I know that like I've been rolling pretty low when it comes to initiative. Um, sure. And I know that there's that the incredible initiative feat, mm -hmm. right? That'll give me plus two. Yeah, that gives you a bonus of two on every initiative check, even if it's not a perception check. So, um, you know, pretty useful. And especially as the, the group's barred, right? You want to get that inspired courage up as quickly yeah. as possible. That way you don't have people having to take turns without their, their bonus to hit and down. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty good choice for a bar. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of the time it's like, everyone's going and I'm just waiting like, yeah. When can I, like, almost an entire round without Inspire Courage? Yeah, I mean, well, at least you don't have Iculus initiative. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's move on to uh, the big thing, right? I mean, yeah. the, the big thing that you get as a bard is you get fourth level spells, right? Uh, you've been I'm working with, with third the entire game this, this far, right? So we started yeah. at fifth, we made it to sixth last season. Now you're finally seventh. So uh, fourth level spells are finally within reach. Have you taken a look at the list? Do you have any yes, that, uh, I, favorites? Uh, yeah, I wrote down um, a few. I know I only get like two. Well, I mean, I get three with my esoteric polymath. Yeah, but, but you're only going to get, get that. You're only going to get two that you get to add to your list of spells. Yeah, now. right yeah. off, right off the bat. So on my list, I have Dimension Door. That's a great spell for getting out of a of a of a pickle mm -hmm. or like just like. You're faced with a chasm that you want to get across, and nobody wants to walk across that <laughs> rickety rope bridge. It's just like, no, we're just going to go over there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I also have Resilient Sphere. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's going to create kind of a, a sphere that uh, protects or kind of traps folks. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, rope Trick. Rope Trick isn't bad. Uh, that's going to create kind of an extra dimensional pocket where you and your friends can kind of hide, mm -hmm. uh, maybe get some rest. Yeah, that one seemed cool. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, along with my deception upgrade, I have suggestion. Suggestion is a great choice, um, uh, especially considering some of the challenges that uh, this group has been facing. Being able to go up to a guard or something and be like, I think it's your break and have them go, it is my break and mm -hmm. just have them walk away. Um, might be, I mean, you know, a will save is can be more reliable than a uh, deception check. Yeah. 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 Um, and then I have uh, Veil. Veil. Which is like, I can disguise up to 10 creatures for an hour. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah up to this point, you've only been able to disguise your own appearance. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, I think back to the Drow Temple again, where, uh, you know, everybody was hiding, was hiding or, or invisible and you were pretending to be a drow. It would have yeah. been really useful to make everybody look like drow. Yeah, it would have been useful. Um, yeah, that poor Durgar in the robot might have actually fell for your deception. Well, I mean, I he was mean, blind. He was blind. <laughs> the only reason we got caught is because we were trying to be nice to him. Yeah, that'll happen. Um, All right. Well, those sound like some pretty exciting choices uh, that you get to make, so I'll let yeah. you I'll let you get to it. But, uh, Erica, I want to thank you uh, for sitting down with me today to talk about the choices you made. Of course. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in. If you want to see more of Tariel's exploits, tune in to Season 2 of Knights of Everflame. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.